Welcome class to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we'll review Coach Joe Rule number 14, which states, Methods should have few, if any, parameters. Having too many parameters could be an indication of poorly designed code, or a code smell. If the method has too many parameters, you should question if the method is doing more than one thing. If name parameters are not being used, it is possible to put the parameters in the wrong order. And with more parameters, there should be more tests, which takes more time. Developers' opinions will differ. I've seen suggested limits from 3 to 7 parameters, yet there are situations where you will still need 20 or more. With no clear answer, try to establish a limit as a guideline for consideration, not an absolute rule. Here are a few common solution ideas for reducing the number of method parameters. One way to reduce the number of parameters, remove any that are unused. Be sure to consider the calling methods as they would also need a change. Some method parameters might be related like these. Instead of passing them individually, why not place them inside a single object, a data transfer object? Now there is only one parameter instead of many. Often a method that has too many parameters is doing more than one thing. Consider breaking up the method into smaller methods. In this example, the name and street address display should be broken out. The name could be moved into a method that only needs two parameters. The street address could be moved to a method that only needs one parameter. And the city, state, and zip could be moved to its own method. Now each method has three or less parameters. Often you will combine some or all of these solution ideas together. With the use of abstraction, a wrapper method could be the entry point. It accepts a DTO parameter and makes calls to other smaller methods. The result is a working method with few parameters and no Coach Joe rules are broken. All of this address code could easily be placed in a class or a wrapper class that does the same thing. One public entry point and many private or hidden methods that do the work. For constructor methods with several parameters, consider the builder pattern. With this code, object creation is started with a static builder class. Method chaining is used to populate each property with few, if any, parameters. The final step is to build the object. This allows object creation without having to pass many parameters to the constructor method. I challenge you to look for ways to reduce the number of parameters passed to a method. Leave a comment down below with your suggested method parameter limit. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break! break.